Ahoy there, everybody. Welcome back to Hourglass SM. How's everybody doing today? My name is Soho, if you did not know. And today, we have got lots of exciting things to take care of. First of all, you'll see that I'm now rocking some nice, new, shiny armor and some elytra. So we're only four days into this server. We've already defeated the dragon probably 15 to 20 times. I don't know. It's been a lot. And a lot of things are coming together right here on spawn. Let's take a quick peek at just exactly what the server mates have been up to. Look at that. That is going to be our storage area. And we are getting this all set up for an automatic storage sorting system. We've also got some other little farms over here. I can't really tell what that is. I think that's dripstone. Yep, that's dripstone. We've got another farm over here. Looks like sugar cane. We've got something going. Oh, that's our super smelter. And I think way off in the distance right over here, you can't see it, is the iron farm. So lots of good things are going on. Let's go take a look at some of this. This right here, that is our our wool farm. So look, look at all this. We've got tons of stuff that is already being automatically sorted and ready to go for all of us here on the Hourglass SMP. This right here is going to be a massive creeper farm. Lots of exciting things. And this right here is our confusing storage. Uh, there is a ton of different things here. So lots and lots of of, of materials for us to use. But for today, we are going to work on providing food for the server. And we're gonna do that with some farms. Now we've got a couple different farms here. We've, we're gonna build a, we've already built the cow farm. We're going to put uh, some sheep farm right here and a pig farm right here. Now we're not gonna use crushers. We're gonna use the automatic cooked farms. So what you see here is you see a lot of cows up top that are meant for breeding. Once you breed these cows, the babies are going to drop down here and grow up. So let's let's just show you. We've got some adult cows in there. Whenever they grow up, you come back here, you push this button right here. Now we have to be fast. I'm going to get right over here so we can see it. So we push, lava pops out, burns the cows, they die and it picks them up and everything comes right in here. Now, sometimes there is some loss and there is raw beef, like if the cows get crushed, anything like that, but they drop down right in here. So we've got some wheat. Let's pop right up here. Let's breed these cows up and let's take a look at how this farm works. Now, I did have some issues with the baby cows popping out of the sides. So hopefully that's not gonna happen here. We're gonna breed these slower than we did last time because I do not want all the babies to pop out of the sides. That's what happened. And I had to kill uh, a lot of baby cows and that was sad. We didn't want to do that. See, you see them pop them down there. So the baby cows will fall off of the trap doors that the adult cows are standing on and they will go right down there into that pit. So we'll just continue feeding these guys here. Yep. And see, they're continuing to drop down. So I think if we do this slower, and don't go too crazy and try to feed them all right away, it might make it a little easier. What I'm going to do is I'm going to build both of these farms, the pig and the sheep farm right there, and then we're going to start working on the outside of this building. So once I have these farms set up, I will jump back in, and we're going to try to make a really nice collection system because I don't want to have individual chests down there. I want it to all flow to one spot, and you can collect whichever meat type you want from that one location. So let's get to some building. Okay, after a very, very long time, I think we've got the inside of our farms ready to go. So this is the one I showed you earlier, and we did get our pig farm set up as well as our sheep farm. Up above, you'll see what I did was I went ahead and I set up the water streams to put all of the items that drop from the animals into this item sorter here. Now we're gonna design all of this a little bit better make it look a little prettier and all that. But I wanted to show you before I close this in, 
this dropper system right down here. So what you're going to see is the baby animals are going to land right down here. They're going to grow up. We're going to hit the lava. It's going to cook them. They are then going to drop down into these hoppers and into this chest. This chest leads down into a dropper. And then we've got this little setup here. The dropper will spit out everything really fast. This will be a water column going right up to the top there. And it will shoot all the items up top. From there, let's just run up here real quick. From there, the items will pop out right here. And then they're going to follow a water stream all the way to over here. They will drop down into another water stream here, which will go into those hoppers. And I've got a little water stream set up from each and every area. We still need to get enough cooked items to filter out our sorters here. Oh, there we go. So so we need to get all the items that we need to, to lock these hoppers correctly and sort our system. We're gonna have one for cooked beef, leather, cooked pork chops, uh, cooked mutton, wool, because I think these guys will drop wool as well, um, as long as it doesn't get burnt up, wool. And then this one will be a kind of a catch-all because sometimes they die on their own and they um and they'll they'll produce like raw meat. So we got raw pork chops in there, we got some raw beef in there. So sometimes that'll happen and we want to make sure that we catch those. But we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start designing the outside of this and we'll work on the interior as well. <laughs> Okay, so finally, <laughs> absolutely finally, we have got this building done. And um, let me just say, if you ever in a video hear me say, we're just going to try this out. We're going to challenge ourselves with a build because the, you know, it might not be symmetrical or anything like that again. Please stop me before I do it. I know you can't really stop me. But this thing, I I really enjoy the way it turned out, but it has driven me crazy for over a week. But we've got most of the design done here. Um, I'm not sure how much I'm loving this area here, but we're gonna keep playing with this over time. But this this is what we've got going on. So let's let's fly away, and we're gonna get a nice little view of our our building here. So we decided to go with three different layers. Now I know these two layers here seem very close together, which they're not. This one I think is one block lower. Then we rose that layer up quite a bit higher. Um, and I was talking with short Zelda 22 about this. And we were talking about whenever you look at arrangements in something, you always, you know, from the angle that you're looking at the back, you always want to have higher so you can actually see it. Because if it was this height, you wouldn't really see that especially from down here on the ground. Um, she was talking about like band arrangements and marching band. And I come from a floral background. My parents, they owned a florist when I was growing up. Um, so that's what I was thinking. I was like, oh yeah, that is how flower arrangements are. Because I remember, you know, watching them do flower arrangements. They would always have the back uh, much higher than the, uh, than the front. So you could see the stuff in the back. So we're going to fly up into this area real quick and start working on some stuff in here. Now, I do have to send a big thank you to my main man, Pants Are Nice. Yes, I know, best name you've ever heard. Uh, because the other day, what was it, Thursday? I was working on this on Thursday night and I sent a message in the Discord that said, you know what, if anyone wants to go in and finish this, absolutely go for it because I was about ready to lose my mind. I just wanted to go to a tall cliff and walk off and be done with this building. But we're back. I just needed a break. Sometimes, you know, you just need to take a break and, uh, and, and give your brain some time to think. But Pants came in and he added some fence gates up here with the lanterns. He did some stuff with some stairs back over here. And what I loved about that is the fact that that made me immediately get inspired that this should be like a rooftop patio type um, hangout spot. You know, you can fly up here. Yes, we can feed our sheep, our pigs, and our cows. 
but you can also come up here and maybe, maybe have a little drink of uh, some water. We've got lots of water here underneath us. You can hang out, have some coffee, chat with your friends. And so we need to set up our ourselves. We got we got a nice little, you know, a booth here with some tables. And I was wanting to think about maybe adding some chairs in here. Now, I saw this recently on a Minecraft something or other. I'm not sure what it was, but somebody did this. And then look at that. Does that not look like a real life chair? Huh? Looks like a real chair to me. But I think maybe uh we could we could set up a table and uh, maybe a, a couple chairs up in this area. So if we have tables over there, we might want a chair. Oh, got a shift here. We can put a chair here. Let's say our table's there in the middle. And then we'll do two more chairs right there. Now that's going to be a little bit bigger of a table. But we're okay with that. So let's, let's get our chairs set up. These will be nice and big, you know. It's it's okay if the chairs are monstrous. We don't mind that at all. And then we will use, uh, let's do a fence here. Let's put it right there. And you know we might, ooh, we might have to get some slabs here. So let's do this. Let's make ourselves some slabs out of the acacia logs, just to tie that acacia in and let's see how this looks if if it's something we don't like we can always redo it so something like that right so it's just a nice little table maybe we'll make the table even larger let's do this let's let's bring these back one and then let's make this table uh too wide because that might that might give us a little bit better of a look here just need a couple more slabs uh it would be nice if these didn't attach but they're going to attach but that's okay and then we can put our chair here oh shift here and here and now let's jump up here and we'll get these on so look at that so now we got ourselves a nice big table but let's go down here and take a look at the inside of this building oh before we do that this is this is the way that we're able to get in and out and feed everything you're still able to walk in through here you do have to duck but it's kind of nice it's nice and hidden you can just open up those trap doors and you can get to all the different areas that you need to go and we've got the last one right over here and this is what we went with on the inside uh we wanted to tie in the teal or cyan colors here and the sandstone. So we just went with a, a nice little sandstone entrance. I kind of wanted to border off this room on its own. So we've got the acacia logs here stripped. And then I just threw in some uh, cyan terracotta that was glazed, glazed cyan terracotta, and just did a nice checkerboard pattern with that and the sandstone. Uh, but there was one more little farm that I wanted to put right here. So let me go grab the materials and it's not it's not like a big farm. It's just something real quick that you can do to help make sure that you always have the carrots and wheat in your inventory so you can feed your animals. Okay, we have got all of our materials. So now we will get started on this quick little farm. And this is a very, very easy farm to do. You're just gonna need yourself a little three by three space there. You want to plop one piece of dirt right there. We're going to plop some water right inside of there. And from here, you're going to take three dispensers. You're going to put one right there, one right there, and another right there. Now let's grab ourselves a lever. And I think we want the lever on this one right here. And we'll put ourselves one piece of redstone dust Right there. Okay, perfect. And now we need to get ourselves, we've got an observer here. I think we're gonna use uh, some warped wood on top of these just to give it, um, just to give it some more warpy, woody looking look. <laughs> warpy, woody, woody look. That made complete sense. Um, I know you understood it completely. So thank you uh, for that. So now I'm just going to put a temporary block right here. We're going to grab our piston, which is, here we go, right there. 
and place your piston right here. And we need to get ourselves a stair right here in the front like that. We are almost done. We're gonna get rid of this block. Where's our ax? There it is. Get rid of this block. Boom, thank you. And we are gonna put an observer. Oops, shift facing right down like that. Now let's just make these stripped logs like that. And we'll do redstone. Oh, gotta get rid of the, gotta get rid of that torch. Redstone dust right across the top there. And, uh, and we're done. Now we just gotta fill these up with bone meal, them right in here. All right, so now you're set. We're gonna start with one carrot and that's how this is gonna work. So what's gonna happen when we flip these levers? It's gonna bone meal that grass block right in there. Anytime that we plant something, it's gonna grow and this piston right here will be firing and it will break those each time it grows. So you might have to turn it on once and then twice to keep it going. You can come right over here, look at the dirt. Oh, pause. We forgot a crucial step. Crucial step. Let's grab that. You gotta hoe the dirt. Very important. So, boom, now we're ready. Okay, let's get that piston back on there. And here we go. Flip it. There we go. Now we can stand here, aim at that dirt, and we'll have to, once we get more in there, then you can just stand here and do this over and over. Watch your crops just multiply. So you can do that with carrots, potatoes. You can do that with wheat seeds. I don't have any wheat seeds. Um, here, let's let's just do this. Don't tell anybody. Let's see if we can get some wheat seeds. There they are. Okay, so we've got some wheat seeds. Oh, pretty flower. Get rid of it. You can do it with wheat. And now we'll do this. And it does take a little bit. Obviously, once you have enough wheat in your inventory, it will just keep multiplying. There you go. Just like that. And then, uh, and then you're all set. And just from that, we got 23 wheat. So instead of having to build a big wheat farm and do everything like that, this is really nice that you can just run in here, use this machine, get everything that you need. All right, so, so that is uh, basically the farm. Uh, we've got three farms in here. <laughs> Again, I highly recommend. If you're gonna be doing a building, uh, plan your build. What are you doing underneath the table? Plan your build out. Do not say, "Hey, you know what? We'll we'll mess around with asymmetry. We'll we'll we'll, we'll play. We'll build on the fly. Have some fun." I got I I feel like a very tiny person next to this table. Let's let's maybe can I get up? No, I can't get up there. But anyways, make sure that you take the time and 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 research and maybe uh go in creative mode. Plan your build. Plan your build. I will never, ever, ever build like this again. And you should never do it either. So, again, thank you so much for hanging out with us today. I really do appreciate all the support that we got on episode one on the Hourglass server. Because, you know, I said my brain hurts. Uh, but look at all this that has been done. We've got, uh, that's a tool shed right there. Uh, let's see, here we go. 1.17 best edition this right here is a tool shed this is where all the armor and everything is this is the skelly spawner this all of this is storage multiple item storage single item storage uh just insanity every bit of it insanity but that's going to do it for us today thank you so much once again please if you have not like, subscribe, especially if you enjoyed the video. I really do appreciate the support. And until next time, have a wonderful day. Oh, am I going to crash into anything? <laughs>